Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra for the week of February 15th to the 21st. Um, now I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm going to do you and the other person, and we're just going to see what comes up. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? For them and another person that is predominantly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is. This is somebody that is predominantly in your energy. Okay? So, what do we have for Libra? Six of Pentacles reversed. And the Six of Swords. We got two sixes. So, sixes is on the journey to balance and harmony. Now, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus. Taurus got two sixes first cards out as well. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, but it looks like one of them is reversed. So you are not, you have not been receiving what you deserve. There could have been somebody that has abused their power with you. They abused the your generosity. You know, they abused your kindness. You weren't tr being treated fairly. Um, you know, there's a lack of equality here. There's a one-sidedness. There's a, a lack of reciprocation. You weren't getting what you deserve. And maybe you're not this week. And this is moving on, going to a better place. So somebody is definitely going to a better place. They are taking the right steps. They are headed in the right direction. So wherever it is that you're headed, you're headed towards peace. You're headed towards you know, serenity, you're leaving the trouble behind. So that's really, really good. You weren't getting what you deserved, but now you're going, you're, you are going to a better place. So this is definitely a better place where there will not be so much turbulence. There won't be so much, um, darkness. Okay. You're heading towards a place where there's a lot more light. Now let's talk about somebody that you're dealing with. Who is this person that is predominantly in Libra's energy? Nine of Cups reversed. And the Five of Cups reversed. Now the Five of Cups reversed is actually better than in the upright. So the Five of Cups reversed is somebody coming back or a reunion. There could be a reunion. There's happiness. Is it seizing a new opportunity for love? So whoever you're dealing with, maybe uh, they could, you may be seizing a new opportunity with this person, um, or they may be wanting some sort of forgiveness from you. Whoever you're dealing with is probably not happy, or they, they've been hoping for forgiveness, or they've been hoping for a reconciliation. Um, this is somebody that probably, you know, they've probably been wishing, they've been wishing and hoping things were different. Um, they're hoping for a different outcome, whoever you're dealing with. Let's get another card. There's sadness here. There's grieving. But this, but, but with the Five of Cups reversed, this is now focusing on the future. It's time to focus on the future. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So that's not putting in much work, not, not something not working out. Somebody's definitely not happy that something has not worked out. This is somebody that hasn't tried hard enough, but may, may have been in their ego, may have been very arrogant, um, wanted to have their cake and eat it too. So I feel like you're definitely dealing with somebody that, you know, it didn't work out with because they just, they didn't put in much effort. Now this person is not happy. They're not happy. They're definitely not happy. They're not happy that you're going to a better place or that you've moved on because you know your value, you know your worth. You know, I feel like, I feel like there's been some sort of, um, a prolonged grief or something like that. I'm not sure. You may even be dealing with somebody who has a drinking problem. You see all these cups or this person goes overboard. This person um, goes to extremes in some way. One more card for the, but this other person that something isn't working out with. You know, they just don't put in much effort. They don't try hard enough. They, they may want to party or they may want to drink a lot or something like that. This person is having a lot of regrets for not putting in effort. They are definitely hoping and wishing for a reunion. They're hoping for a renewal. They're praying. They're, they may be praying for forgiveness. Definitely extremely overwhelmed, whoever you are dealing with. Um, they may want another chance. So... 
this person hasn't put in much effort in the past. Well, let's get one card for you on your side. One card for Libra. Okay, one card for the other person. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. So you may be feeling sad over a loss. You know, it's hard to walk away from somebody. It's hard to find your value. You know, after you haven't only been, you know, you've only been getting crumbs, you haven't been getting what you deserve. You know, there's been a lack of reciprocation. There's been a lack of give and take. You gotta go, you know, and it's sad. It's obviously sad. Cup. You should accept valid criticism. That's this person over here. This person has a hard time accepting criticism. They do. And I feel like they've been rejected or they're going to be rejected. And I feel like they've been hoping or they're wishing that, you know, they wish that they would have put in effort before now, you know, and they could not accept criticism previously. Let's go back over to your side. So you weren't getting what you deserve. It feels like you've moved on. You've gone to a better place or you're going to a better place. This is a time of transition for you. You know, you're, you're done. You're done staying in that situation where you don't get what you deserve. Oh, Eight of Swords, but there's some sort of mental turmoil here. This, this is tied to a situation, need to escape. You, need, you may feel the need to escape. You may feel like you're stuck. You may be feeling, you may be in your head this week because of this loss you may be feeling like you're confined or you're restricted or you know you're having a hard time breaking free from this it's not easy it's definitely not easy so I feel like you're in a in a place where it's not very comfortable or it, it, maybe you're used to it it feels like you're used to this mental turmoil you're think you're used to this rocky road right you're used to it and it, but it feels like you need to stand up and you need to walk away and I feel like this is walking away it is walking away. I feel like you've been betrayed. I feel like um, there's been belittling. There's been walking on eggshells. There's been somebody that really, really, really hurt you. That it looks like they pushed you away. They wanted to win at all costs. Whoever you were dealing with had a very big ego. And I feel like you're, you've walked away from this person. And I think you've walked away from the conflict. It's like, I don't, I don't want to prove myself to you anymore. I just want to be happy. And I think that you are headed towards happiness. I feel, I feel like you've been in a place where there's been a lot of, uh, it's been a struggle. It's really been a struggle with that Eight of Swords. There's been an obstacle. It's, it's been an obstacle for you. The walking away has been difficult. It's been very, very difficult. I think it's been difficult because, you know, why was it so difficult? It was difficult because you gave to the situation. You know, you gave it your all. But now the choice is being made. I mean, that is the decision. That that's where you're at that crossroads, and you make the choice to to basically the, both of these cards is to leave. So this week, I believe that you are focusing on the future. You've made a choice. You've made a decision. A decision is definitely being made uh, to go in a new direction. I feel like there's been indecisiveness. There's been overwhelming fear and uh, mental conflict. There's been mental conflict over over this choice, over this decision. But I feel like you know that you haven't been getting what you deserve. I feel like you know that if you take, you know, you know that you deserve balance. You deserve harmony. You deserve peace. You deserve reciprocation. But it's all the same. It's sad. It's sad to have to walk away from somebody that, you know, has pushed you away. This person has pushed you away. It's like, you know, they didn't put in effort. You know, they didn't put in effort. So, if you know, if they don't put, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't wait forever. You can't stay in isolation forever. You can't stay and wait forever. You can't confine yourself and restrict yourself to somebody who's not giving you what you deserve. So, anyway, I feel like um, this week you're making a decision and there's going to be there's going to be some fast forward movement, okay? I think that you are going to be moving forward very, very fast. I feel like um, action is being taken this week. I feel like there could be some sort of uh, 
a rival even with the Knight of Swords. That could even be a law official. This is somebody that is very decisive, that is making a decision. There is a decision that is being made, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There's a decision to go to a better place. Okay, but that six of swords, that, that's going to another place, a better place. And this is a decision, and this is somebody that is very decisive, that knows what they want. This is somebody that is very clear thinking, that is a professional in some way. So, you know, you may receive some sort of clarity or information from somebody, some news, okay, that pushes you in a new direction, that, you know, pushes you off the shore, you know, that gives you the nudge that you need to make the decision that I feel like you've been struggling to make. And I, th and I can see the struggle. It's like staying, restricting yourself to this situation, but this is receiving some sort of clarity or receiving that nudge. Okay. Um, now the Knight of Swords is somebody who puts their plans in action. They've thought about it and they're doing it. So you may have been thinking about this for quite some time. The time is now. It feels like this is this is this time is definitely now. Let's get one more card. It's because it's time to be happy. Okay, this is about it's time to be happy. It's time to stop fighting. You know, this is upright. It's a conflict. It's a fight. It's a battle. This is the end of a battle. It really, really is. Page of Swords reverse. Now you could be dealing with somebody that is very combative. This is somebody who lies, that doesn't tell the truth, that is untrustworthy. I feel like this person um, is immature. You may be receiving, you know, there could, you, you got to set boundaries. You have to set boundaries. You have to protect yourself. You're definitely up against somebody who uh, doesn't care who they hurt. This is somebody that is immature. Um, and you need, you're going to need to protect yourself this week in some way. You need to stand up for yourself. Um, you need to defend yourself, okay? So you may need to defend yourself. There could be some sort of defense this week. Um, whatever is happening, I feel like it's going to go in your favor because of that Six of Swords. That is that is peace and harmony. So whatever is happening, you are headed towards peace. You are headed towards harmony. You are going to a better place after being restricted, after being confined to a situation. The decision is definitely being made based on facts, based on the truth. You've been dealing with somebody that is very immature, that lies a lot, that steps on other people's toes, that doesn't care who they hurt. This is somebody that is very, very egotistical. So there is definitely being a decision that is being made this week. You may be the one that is making the decision, okay, to protect yourself from this, uh, I don't know, it feels like it's some sort of abuse. It does. It, it feels like it's abuse. Let's go over to the other side. I feel like you are walking away from somebody and it hurts. Nine of Wands reversed. You are dealing with somebody that is very um, cocky. This person is uh, has a chip on their shoulder. You got somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder. Uh, the, whoever you're dealing with, they are unwilling to budge. They are unwilling to budge. They sit on a high horse. They don't like to give up. They're wishing and hoping they could had put in effort, but they are unwilling to give in. This is somebody who is very, very um, self-centered. You're dealing with somebody that is self-centered. You know, this person... Uh, has such a big ego that they and they really have a big ego such a big ego that they they it feels like they they hope and wish for things to be better but they're not willing to put in any effort to make things better very unbalanced energy you're dealing with somebody that repeats negative patterns that is unwilling to accept change that is unwilling to change that it will not evolve this person does not see the see purpose does not may not believe in things you know this person is very unhealthy you're dealing with some this person may have some sort of addictions um 
and they're, I feel like they are going to extremes. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely unhealthy by the looks of things, and I feel like they're angry, and they probably have a victim mentality. Um, I feel like uh, this person is probably grieving over a previous loss, and they are self-medicating in some way. I feel like there's self-medication here, drinking especially. There's a lot of drinking going on, and I feel like uh, this is a negative repetitive, repetitive pattern. You are dealing with somebody that repeats the same patterns over and over and over again. They have not changed, and they're not going to change. They are not. They feed their their sorrows with addictions. You know, they bury their feelings with addictions. This is somebody that is, has a lot of pride. This person has a lot of pride. And they feel like they don't have to do anything to change things. I don't have to do anything. It feels like they feel like they can do whatever they want and that they're protected. They feel like they are protected, but I feel like they're delusional. Um, ah, whoever you're dealing with is going to be experiencing a loss. Okay, they, maybe they've lost you. The Ace of Pentacles is a huge, huge, huge loss. That is a lost opportunity. Um, it's unplanned. You know, they didn't. They probably thought that they could hold on to you. They probably thought that they didn't have to change. That they didn't have to put in effort. That you were never going to transition away. That you were never going to break free. That you were never going to take action. But I do feel like you are taking action. You are going to be setting boundaries, and you are going to be walking away from somebody. Now we get the world card in reverse on the bottom on this side, this deck. This is somebody that is not going to be successful, that is needs an attitude adjustment, that is stuck in the present, that is unwilling to accept and allow change. They are they have not learned their lesson yet. So they are um, going to be experiencing some sort of huge loss. So this is somebody that is very egotistical, that is doing something that is extremely it feels like unhealthy they're gonna, and they're going to be experiencing a loss and there's going to and I feel like I feel like whoever you're dealing with um you know they just will not change they just will not change now this person um I don't know if they're losing their job or they're losing something of value which could definitely be you I feel like uh They are experiencing some major life challenges right now, whoever this person is. Extreme. They are grieving over a loss. Or they're going to be. And maybe it's the loss of you. And it's because they are unwilling to change because of their ego and their pride. They will not accept criticism. And they will not react. They will not change. They will not put in effort to change. So whoever you're dealing with is extremely unhealthy. Extremely. And they are about to lose something of huge value if they have not already. And I feel like they are very much grieving over the loss. They are probably hoping and wishing that things were different. But they aren't going to change. Good luck.